everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a thrift shop find here today, which is a boombox from the 1980s. So let's take a look at this bad boy. Rightio. Now back to the 80s we're going to today, and in the thrift shop, I did come across this 1980s boombox by Philips. It is a model D8334. And I got this for a big five pounds. Now I thought I'd take a punt on it. Uh, it might not work or anything like that. So we've just got it back, I've plugged it in, and we're just gonna go over this model. Now this is a tandem model, as it's called there, and the reason that is, I believe, it's got two radio uh, receiver pickups here, and it has four radio stations on here, which is AM, FM, shortwave one, and shortwave two. I guess it depends on what country you are in, depends on what radio station you've got. Then here's your tape counter and your headphone jack, your main speakers and two microphones on the side to record. On the top, you've got your playback uh, cassette deck here, which just plays back, does not record. This one here does record on the top. Over here you've got a dual volume switch, which is kind of weird to find on any boom box. Uh, they do individual speakers or two at once. So maybe it's a feature they thought well, might have sold these things in the day. Here is a stereo or mono switch, so you can have stereo or mono. And here is a tone selector switch. This one here is to select tape to radio. On the side is your dial for your radio tuning and your selector for your band stations on the back. We've got a couple of features here that you don't often see on boom boxes, which is an input jack here. So you can run your modern day devices through this boom box uh, with just plugging in here. Down here is an output jack too, so you can connect it to a stereo system. Now also on the edges here, we've got these two big holders here, one there, one there. And that's, I believe it used to have a gigantic strap for the days when you wanted to take it down and party out with your friends and carry it around the shopping center and having blaring music out while you're having fun. So let's see uh, what the quality is like this of today. So for, we're gonna try the radio out first. So let's put on the radio and turn the volume up. And let's find the station. Let's, uh, I think that's FM radio, so let's try AM. Last year, the run up to the festive season, a great guy, and he's on with Alison tomorrow afternoon from midday. And then I'm back with you on Friday for your feel good Friday. So, anyway, that's the radio function. It seems to be working very well. So, uh, let's look at the cassette deck. See yeah, how the doors open here. Nice and good. And open. The oh, there's a. Someone's left a cassette in there. Uh, London Symphony Orchestra. Okay, so let's. Uh, well, let's got the tape in there. Let's see what it plays like. So, we're going to play this deck first. Okay, that seems to be working very well with no belt problem, so let's fast forward and rewind. Seems to be doing a good job. All right, let's check out the other deck. And let's play this one. Good. And the rewind. 
Well, it seems like uh, I've come out with a winner with this one. The belt seems to be perfectly fine in this cassette deck boom box. Anyway, there's our short little video on a little tour of this Philips D8334 Ghetto Blaster from the late 1980s. And uh, we'll see you on the next show. Bye for now.